Welcome back to my channel. I have been so naughty this week. Um, I never went to Weight Watchers today because I'm um, my back people. I had um, a chiropractic um, appointment with their like their little posture prep. It's called and it's um, it's really good. It's like their little gym class and it's really really. Re I love it. It's really good. But I had a really bad back day today, so I had a really early appointment. So um, I couldn't I couldn't go Weight Watchers this morning, but in a way I am pleased because I have been super super naughty. Um, I'm gonna tomorrow, um, which is Friday. I'm gonna pull my reins in and go, Julie, come on, this I've got to do this. I've got to crack on with it. Um, it, it is it is hard. I comfort eat. I do comfort eat now. Load of probably load of you women out there do stress eat do comfort eat that's like me okay so what we're going to do is instead of having a complete naughty day we're just going to draw a line completely underneath that naughty day or that naughty afternoon naughty morning and just say okay let's do this again so instead of wrecking our whole day Instead of we going into that slippery slope of depression and, oh, I've done it now, I've ruined it, I've ruined my diet, let's just completely throw the towel in and let's just, let's just be eat, 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 eat or drink, you know, it depends. But if you don't want to do that, then please don't. I would suggest don't do that. I've got to take my own advice and not do it because... Um, I have been um, eating all day naughty things um, and to be honest I'm now I'm not even enjoying it where before it was like yes I've broke my diet I'm the rebel I'm going to eat a load of food I'm going to have a McDonald's I'm going to eat this I'm going to eat that little miss what is that noise you're making so what I'm going to do is now it's got to the point of where I'm not actually enjoying it anymore. It's actually getting on my nerves. So I think to myself, well, please, let's just have enough. You know, it's like even sweets, even chocolate. Now, chocolate is absolutely heavenly, but I'm not even enjoying that. So, the, you know, a glass of wine, not enjoying it. So what my body, I think, is telling me is like, come on, what are you doing? Now I'm not going to let you enjoy anything because it's not nice. So I'm actually not enjoying my time of being rebellious. <coughs> oh dear, I may have not done that. But, no, rebellion on your diet, don't rebel. Because <laughs> you don't, you won't enjoy it. You really won't. And little miss, what is the matter? what is up yes yeah, so tomorrow is going to be a whole brand new day because i have just eaten so much rubbish i don't even think i can even draw a line underneath what i've eaten um so what i'm going to do is see even personal trainers are bad we are naughty we just oh we need to get out of the fat zone and get in to your diet zone and think to yourself right this is going to be it this is going to be what i'm doing yeah! and go on, mommy. yeah go on mommy i can do this yeah! <laughs> go on. but it's hard so all you women that have had babies um or have still got their baby bellies and still got um I've still got my baby belly from my three-year-old. So, this baby belly has got to go. Sometimes I think we can use our baby bellies as a bit of an excuse. Yeah, so I think we can use um, our baby bellies as a bit of an excuse, really, as why not to diet. So, I think, really, it's like, oh, yeah, 20-odd 20, 20 years later, people still go, oh, yeah, I've still got my baby belly, you know, and... Um, I can understand that. I really can. I've got so many clients into shape and um and it's been 
amazing time. I love having my clients and I love getting people into shape. I just got to get myself into shape as well. Um, I lost about seven years ago, I lost seven, no, six, six stone. Yeah, I lost six stone. So I was always a size six to an eight when I met my husband. And um, I was working my little skinny shorts. I was wearing those tank tops. I didn't even know what it was to even lose weight because I was always a seven stone ever since I was 14. I couldn't put on no weight. I could eat like a horse. Literally, I could eat and eat and eat and eat and I would not put on any weight. So I was one of these people that now I can't stand. Now I'm only joking, I love those people really. <laughs> I admire those people because they, it takes great stamina. But nevertheless, I had to, um, um, I, I don't hate anybody, but nevertheless, it's now, you know, it's like, after I had my little girl, I remember walking into Tesco's and I'd only just had her, so I had my real baby belly then. And there was a, a personal trainer from one of the gyms that was, she didn't know me and I didn't know her, but the look that she gave me was unbelievable. She just looked like, kissed her teeth and looked me up and down as if to say, oh, look at the state of you. But I, she never had no children. She don't know what it's like to get into shape after having children. I've had five children. And um, I got myself, after having four, I got myself back into my size eight. So knowing that you can do it when people say, after you've had children, that's it. It's all downhill for you. Rubbish. It's not. Continuous dieting. Continuous, um, continuous dieting and continuous training. If you train, but don't diet, you'll still get the effect. But why, why bother? Because the actual effect that you are actually trying to achieve is the effect of um, dieting, training. They go hand in hand. So if you try, if you diet but don't train, oh yeah, you're going to lose that weight, but you're not going to be as toned up. You're not going to look as great. Okay, yeah, you may still have the women that have had babies. Yeah, you may still have the loose skin after, right? But that's natural. But you will look amazing. You will look and you will be toned. You just have a little bit of loose skin. You know, you might not have any. For those people that that just don't have... I've I've got a friend of mine. She's, she's one of my best friends. And I always have a muck about with her. Because we're both dieting. And... Um, but she never had one stretch mark. Not one stretch mark. But me, I had loads absolutely loads because I think it was because I was so slim and um and I did I got really big with all my babies and um I loved it I loved being pregnant you know but it is hard when you want to lose weight it is hard so we've got to stay focused and um yeah we've just got to stay focused and it's just staying focused and that is just so hard you know, what have I eaten today? I've eaten a, okay, I've eaten a sausage roll. Big time bad. And, oh, and a cream cake. Now that was bad. That was naughty. Every time I go in that baker's, I'm going to stop going in that baker's because my little girl, she goes, she knows when we go past that baker's, she goes, Mummy, I'm hungry. And I know exactly what she means because she's had her breakfast, she's had her lunch, she wants a donut. So I think I'm going to go another way. Also, girls, when you are dieting and, and, um, um, guys if you've um if you if some some men are, are house husbands now um and they bring up their children so i really admire them i think they're they're pretty cool and i admire the women that go out to work as well because it takes a lot of lot of guts to leave your children and um and i admire you as well so well done to all of you everybody is fantastic now but for those that think how can i stop picking at my children's dinner when they are finished it's like my little girl yesterday we got another youtube channel called aj magical toys where we do stupid things on there um sometimes we have a little break because she just gets fed up and i can't get her to do it um but just the last couple of days she's really wanted to do a youtube channel which i'm really really pleased um so um but yesterday we've done the gummy challenge 
Not good, not good, no. Mummy, have one of these. Mummy, have this. Mummy, have that. It's like, I need to learn to say no. When I was, when I lost, I, I was doing well on my diet because I was losing six pound. I lost six pound and then all of a sudden it was like my little girl said to me, mummy, have this. And I was going, no, my mummy's on a diet. Mummy doesn't want it. No, thank you. And she was okay with that. So I need to get back into that groove. It, and it is getting into that groove. So tomorrow you are going to see me cook something. You are going to see me do my breakfast, my lunch and my dinner. And we are going to be doing it Weight Watchers Flex style. I love Weight Watcher Flex. I think the Flex diet is absolutely amazing. It's a high protein diet. Other than the pro points, I think the Flex diet is the best diet Weight Watchers has ever had. I really do. Um, because your chicken is free where it wasn't before. You can have chicken breast. So long as it's chicken breast, turkey breast, then it's free. Your peas, they used to be have to be pointed. They are now free. Your sweet corn, you used to have to point the sweet corn. That's free. Um, your eggs, used to. I think it used to be, say, about one or two points for an egg. Um, now it's free. And I love eggs. As a trainer, I love to eat eggs because um, it's got a lot of protein in there. I used to make up, when I was on the pro points, I used to make up an egg white, I used to have 12 egg whites a day. Um, I know some people can get egg bound, but it never used to do that to me. But um, I used to have 12 egg whites a day, and I used to have just one slice of toast, and I used to just have a smidgen of brown sauce on it. Man, it was amazing, and it filled you up for longer. That is the key, finding foods that fill you up for longer. Weigh your pasta, don't have too much pasta because it takes two to three days. I think it's actually two days to actually break down into your body. Um, also, don't have too much rice. Um, weigh a little bit out, but if you want rice, bulk it out with cauliflower rice. That's really nice, and then it, it just makes you feel like you're eating more rice. Um, what else? I'm trying to think off the top of my head uh, what else is free. Um, you've got absolutely you've got a whole wide you've got all your like your your beans you've got your your kidney beans are free your butter beans are free you got absolutely everything that that is uh, that is free on the on the weight watcher flex so i would suggest that everybody um that is thinking of dieting some people like slimming world that's good I I sometimes say if whatever your body whatever whatever your body is telling you if your body is telling you I can only lose a stone on Slimming World and then that's it my body stops and I can't lose no more and then I get disheartened and then I put it all back on so the stone that I've lost you end up gaining so you have to listen to your body you have to listen to what your body is telling you so if your body is telling you um, Slimming World is the one for you then cool go to Slimming World if you think that Weight Watchers is the one go Weight Watchers as long as you are answerable to somebody um, on your weighing days then that is the perfect chance to actually do that so um, I was, it's really hot today really hot I think it's going to be about 34 again tomorrow so we had a couple of bad days bad rainy days which was really cool um, but now we've got the hot weather back again, which I really like. Um, but yeah, so I, you'll be seeing me do all that tomorrow. So I'll be having my breakfast, my lunch, um, my dinner. I want to try and make the Weight Watcher mango and chicken curry because that has been sitting on my um, cookbook stand in my kitchen since I've had the book. But there's some ingredients that I can't can't get um so i'm gonna have to search for them ingredients i think in other different shops so um but yeah so i understand so with all my customers i do understand how my, my clients are feeling how they um how they start i'm not one of these pts that look looks that looks at you and thinks you're really overweight i know what that's like to have people do that to you so, um, and I need to get my head back into my diet so that I can be an inspiration, which is one of these why that I started this channel, because I know how 
how it is for people that comfort eat, that stress eat, that have eating problems, um, when they just want to eat all the time and they feel like they're going to pull their hair out if they don't. I know how that feels, you know, it's, it's like I get up in the morning and I think, right, I go to bed and I think that's it, my diet starts tomorrow. Um, I can't, I've only put on one and a half so far, so I don't want to go, I've probably put on two and a half now, I've probably put on three, I don't know, I didn't go. <laughs> so I'm going to have to weigh myself tomorrow um, and see what I am and then I know for a fact that even if it doesn't show up on this weighing, next next week's weighing, I know for a fact that it'll show up on the next. So that's what I've got to keep in my head so that I don't get disheartened, so that I don't suddenly sit there and think to my, myself, um, that's it. it. Oh, yeah, I've only I've stayed the same, I've this, I've that. If you've stayed the same, I'm going to show you something on my next video. And when people go, oh, I've only lost a pound. If you actually measure out a pound of fat or even half a pound of fat, put it in a bag, flatten it out, and you look at that and see how much weight that actually is. And that is coming off of your hips. That's coming off of your legs, off of your bum. It's coming off of your bust. It's coming off. Don't forget, you've got to drink plenty of water. And that's at least two litres of water a day. Um, because you will you will literally, you have to lose on the inside before you start losing on, before it starts noticing on the outside. Okay, so yeah, the days that you don't lose, you could lose inches. So when you think to yourself, oh, I've stayed the same, you may have only lost in inches or you may have um, just think to yourself, yeah, I stayed the same, I haven't gained. That's really good. I'm pleased that I've not gained. Because sometimes that screws my head up and I end up thinking, oh, stay the same. You know, it's not shifting. Why ain't it doing it? But really, I could have just lost in inches or I could have, um, you know, and I'm just pleased that I've... So I'm looking at these little butterflies in my garden. So it's like I could... Um, I think to myself, well... As long as I'm not putting on, if I don't put on, then that's fine. But as long as you are on a continuous roll, don't lose heart. Please don't lose heart. I am going to show you what can be done while dieting and that you can get into your pre-pregnancy um, state, <laughs> so to speak, So, what, um, and better. You can plus obviously with training and you're toning up so you're going to look really good you're going to have abs you're going to look toned you're going to look absolutely amazing um there's things that i can't do because of my back so i have a limited amount of things that i am doing i was a bit i got told off because i was doing russian twists and i shouldn't have done russian twists and i don't think i should have done leg right leg um, calves not leg raises calves because of the compression on your shoulders because it does that with your speed compresses your spine um when when my chris actually looks at my because he's my chiropractor and when he actually looks at my back he said to me you're in pain aren't you I'm like yeah he the but the lower part of my spine which is fused together um is yeah so um so i'm going to show you how obviously how you can get back into shape it's like dodging the washing lines how you can get back into shape and how um and how that when people say you know that you you can't get back low looking like that it's what low rubbish no nah. if my eye looks upon it if the stars can do it i can do it so at the end of the day they may have the money to um, have liposuction, or they have this, they have that. Then, um, then base them. I will watch it in a minute. No, not you. Yeah, they may have the money for like liposuction and tummy tucks and stuff like that. But I always think hard work, dedication. That's the key. And. Um, who knows if you if, if you could afford a tummy a tummy tuck at the end of all your dieting at the end of all your thing and you want to just clean up the loose skin then good luck to you because i think i you know i think that's that's admirable that is so 
that's all I've got time for today. So I will talk to you and show you everything that I'm doing tomorrow so that I am answerable to you guys. Um, please like and subscribe to this channel if you like this channel and you um, just drop me a line, you know, in the comment below and just say, Julie, can you show us this? Can you show us this exercise? Can you do this? Can you do that? As long as I can do it with my back, then I can um, because Russian twists, that's a no-no. If you've got lower back problems, that's a no-no, um, as I found out. Um, my my um, chiropractor absolutely went off his head. So he was, he's, he, I, I love Chris, he's absolutely amazing chiropractor at the Brentwood Spinal Clinic. They are absolutely amazing now. So um, it's them that has found out all what's wrong with my back, and um, which I'm thankful for because no one else did so um but anyway thank you spinal care clinic <laughs> um but yeah i shall drop you a line tomorrow so you will see my breakfast my also weight washers have brought out a granola so those that like granola you can have 50 grams for four points so with the flex diet you have 28 weekly points and i think it's 23 daily points you also if you sign up with the do the monthly thing you get your app which you can go i love that app you can um track on the app you can talk to coaches 24 7 on 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 there so if you're having a bad day and you're like help i'm having a bad day then they help you they go now don't you think you should just think of why you started the journey which yeah why did i start the journey for my health for living longer for getting this weight off my joints so that my back may be easier so that I can do the things that I want to do and that I struggle with day to day with my back um, so um, yeah so just drop me a line if you want me if you want to see me do something you want to see me cook something you want to see um, the act tell me about the actual plan of the Weight Watchers then just leave a comment below but please like and subscribe okay bye guys